What's good YouTube, it's your boy Dizo and you are watching the Shades and Souls channel. Alright guys, so for tonight we're going to be doing the real review for the Wade Ice Blood version 2. Okay, now what you say is a real review. Real review is where I tell you guys my experience with the shoe, how the shoe performed, and whether or not the shoe is for you or not. At the end of the video, I'll make sure you guys have those and uh, questions answered. Okay? There's no bias, no bullshit. I bought the shoe with my own money, so you best believe everything that I tell you is just real. All right? Okay, so I know I didn't do an unboxing for this shoe, so let me show you guys the box. This is the regular box right here for the Way of Wade. Obviously, we can't read that, or I can't read that. Maybe you guys can, but this is a US 8 half. That is my true to size. All right, this is the front of the box. This is the other side of the box. Okay, if you guys are wondering where to buy this, leaning.com, I think that's their international website wayofway.com that's their US website okay this is the wayofway.com that's where I got it you guys are wondering all right so that's it and inside the box or attached to the shoe is these cards right here which which I like and which I hope that uh, other brands would do because it informs you even without understanding those drawings actually inform you what the shoe has okay so I know over here it says so it, this part of it left me questioning which part is the cloud foam right and which part is the light foam okay but uh, to my understanding the light foam is the carrier midsole of this or the encasing rubber right so that would be your light foam and I'm guessing I'm guessing the cloud foam is either here or it could even be this one. But whichever one it is, may it be the insole that I just took out. By the way, this is not glued, okay? So if you do have like inserts or whatever, this can be easily removed. Alright? You guys can see that like I didn't I didn't even struggle taking that out because it was just like a, um, um, what do you call this? Pull out insole. All right. So again, I'm not sure whether the cloud foam is within the rubber inside. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if the cloud foam is within uh, the carrier light foam midsole or if it's in with that um, detachable insole. All right. You guys can correct me if I'm uh, if I'm wrong. But there is no denying that when you put your foot in here, the step in comfort. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness. All right. Huh. And we're just opening the damn shoe right now. Like we haven't even started. Price on that one is 99 bucks. I will tell you right now, you cannot get a $99 shoe, basketball shoe, with this much performance of the damn shoe man like for a hundred dollar shoe this is too much all right this the performance i mean it's it's too much most shoes would have already charged you more that's all i'm saying okay okay enough babble enough babble let's go on with the shoe traction traction is really good with the exception of mildly dusty court or courts that has a lot of dust clogs Okay, dirty quartz, this is a no-no. Clean quartz, this is a big yes. Alright, that's, that's, that's all there is to it. Now, if you do play outdoors and this shoe, if you're just trying to do like a budget model shoe, this shoe is the way to go. Alright, but if you're playing on Mali Dusty Court, this is a no-go. If you're clean, uh, playing on a clean court, this is a definite go. Now, for a hundred dollar shoe, you get this TPU right here. Um, Leaning is calling it the Pro Bar Lock. Okay, that's their that's their uh, that's what they call their midfoot shank right there. 
this one extends all the way here in the medial portion I don't know of any other shoe brand charging a hundred dollar bucks with a TPU that actually works okay now along with that um, TPU TPU uh, support right there is again I was telling you guys about the light foam carrier light foam is actually pretty decent you guys can see that it's pretty decent right and then inside I'm not sure if it's inside the light foam or that insole that I just easily took out is where the cloud foam is but again the step-in comfort of this shoe is just amazing this shoe with the midsole the way the midsole is um, is used you sit very low this is one of the lowest feeling shoes I've worn for the year of 2022 okay it's like you're very close to the ground too close to the ground in fact that I love lower um, feeling to the ground shoes but there is some there is such thing as too much of something and I think this was too much for me to my liking but did I like it yes it, it was just too much to the point where I felt like it's almost missing a piece of rubber down here because every time I am using some other shoe and then I switch to this one it feels like a huge chunk of rubber was missing here to where it threw off a little bit of my timing but if you're sticking with one shoe for like a duration of time like four months to six months and this has been the only shoe you've been wearing I have I have no doubt that you'll get used to that feeling it for me it's for from November to now January 5th I've just been switching shoes a lot that way I could give you guys the review but if it wasn't for me switching shoes a lot I would have adjusted to it very good outsole very nice um, midsole and even if you are very low to the ground Low to the ground always equals, most of the time, 90% of the time, always equals a great court feel. What surprised me the most is the cushion. Because even with how low you are to the ground, cloud foam mixed with light foam, that was, that feel, the feeling was amazing. Okay, the feeling was amazing. My only thing is, it had such a large portion of a midfoot shank. Other people like it. I personally don't because I prefer huge flexibility and the shoe itself front and this portion they're flexible but then when you come to the mid portion of it it isn't and sometimes I do get hot spots with this shoe I got hot spots a lot but like I said to each their own I have my midfoot area is very low like I don't need this much support to where if if there is this much support it's gonna hurt me instead okay every but everybody's foot is different everybody's preference is different that is my personal preference but maybe for you this actually would work for you if you need that type of support all right now the upper the upper is just textile but if you guys have been around shoes lately or sneakers lately that is that is basically the tier right now of, of basketball shoes. It's just we're just switching over to textile. So there you go. And one very surprising thing about the upper is if this was any other brand, this is a this is the cheap this is a cheap material, right? But damn, the way this one hugs your foot, it doesn't even I can't even say it's snug. It becomes snug when you provide the right support on the laces. Now, if you have a question about the tongue, the tongue is a traditional tongue, but look at that, man. Look at how, how wide that separates, okay? So the reason why I mentioned that, and that's very important, is like I said, the step in comfort. Like if you just loose this laces up, right? Put your foot in, too easy, too easy to put in. And uh, once you tighten up the shoe, I don't know if you guys saw that tongue right there, the inside of the tongue. 
it's actually very comfortable also so it's very comfortable at the same time very supportive very cushiony inside it's just amazing that this is only a hundred bucks if you guys are big fans of low low top shoe here you go you already low to the ground this is a low top shoe i i actually love this shoe a lot i i love it a lot so if i'm looking for beaters just anywhere even outdoor courts I, i'd pick this okay um again that's my overall experience that's uh the how how this shoe performed for me is this for me i for me personally yes this is this is for me do do i advise you guys to get this of course this is only a hundred dollar shoe and what it offers if you buy it anywhere else it's it's gonna be a lot more expensive okay the only downside is is the uh outsole where it's mildly dusty or if the court has dust clogs or dust bunnies then this won't work any other condition even outdoors any other condition this is gonna work if you guys are big fans of support even better right this is very low to the ground has great court feel has great cushion very nice supporting upper right the laces right here and then if you tighten this up oh my god the comfort and the snugness all together man for a hundred bucks i definitely recommend this all right if you guys enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up if you guys uh, want to support the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys have any questions or anything to say about the shoe go to the comment section just be respectful about it and i'll try my best to get back to you again it's your boy Dizo. thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your support and i'll see you guys soon peace out